Hey guys, All in Crypto here and welcome back ladies and gentlemen for another YouTube video. I hope you've all had a fantastic weekend so far. Today we're going to be diving into Cardano and this is a video that I am excited to be delivering. Hopefully you guys on the other end of the screens are going to be fired up by the end of the, this video because there is something colossal around the corner for Ada, and that's what we're going to get into in this video. As we are moving ever closer to Sunday Swap launching, really the first DEX, we do have another DEX that is actually operational, um, but we'll get into that in another video. Really, one of the first main DEXs that are going to come to the Cardano ecosystem. This is a pivotal moment for Cardano, and we're getting into why that is and why this is going to be very heavily correlated, in my opinion with a price increase when we see sustained periods of downward price action people lose interest it should be the opposite people only really want to um, buy a cryptocurrency when it's sort of going through the roof they don't want to invest and be investors and visionaries really in something that has huge potential and this, this is what we're looking at with cardano the potential for ada is huge and people get disheartened when they see price action like this Guys, I've continued to accumulate ADA. We told you in yesterday's video that we were buying into projects like Ardana. This is a thread or a tweet from ADA Whale. Few random ADA related tokens I am or will slash hope to be investing in that I have high hopes for over the next year or so. We're in a lot of these projects, ladies and gentlemen, and we've covered a lot of them on the channel. This is all about to get switched on. So we're gonna do a number of things in this video. We're going to be addressing the comments again with people calling Cardano a dead blockchain, saying that it's a dead and forgotten about project. They couldn't be more wrong if they tried. But what we're going to do is we're going to look at things like Solana, AVAX and Terra that have done very, very well. I'm not taking anything away from them. Um, and one of the reasons they've done so well is because they're a kind of new competitive smart contract blockchain that already has dApps, have their own way of doing things. You know, we, but that's for an, uh, also for another video. Um, so these guys have done very well due to, you can see here, nearly 400 projects are built on top of AVAX. With Terra, they're growing, and Solana you know, has quite a big ecosystem. This is Cardano's ecosystem. It's going to continue to grow, and we're on the very cusp of that. So these projects have all done very, very well based on um, a number of things. It's not just the fact that they have dApps, but that does play a significant role. Cardano is about to have that. People calling Cardano a dead project have got no idea what they're talking about. And the same people that turn up every time Cardano has a pullback and they say the same things and they've been proven wrong time and time again. Yes, this year hasn't ended in a 2017 or prior to that 2013 S bull run. We've not followed the kind of perfect four year cycle theory where we've seen a parabola towards the end of the year. Certainly we'd be in it now in, in, in 2017, but that doesn't mean that we're still not going to see that. I think crypto has a long journey that it's only just embarked on. If you look at us as a market cap and we keep bringing this up, because it really makes a lot of sense of the situation. Apple is $3 trillion in terms of market cap. Nearly one and a half times our entire market in one single equity. We have a absolute mission ahead of us and you guys are the early adopters in a technology that in my opinion is gonna change the world. Certainly we got that vibe from the congressional hearing and so on and so forth. And I'm trying to keep people as motivated as I can um, you know, I, I'm extremely excited about what's on the horizon. So let's get into that. So Sunday Swap, hopefully we get this actual DEX launching the main net before the end of the year. If not, it's not a problem. Um, we know they're in a test net phase. We've tried the test net out. We will be showing you when they have a main net launch, how to add liquidity, how to use it, all the, all the functions and features and so on and so forth. And, and we're on the very cusp of this. So we've seen other projects do very well due to their status with dApps and the fact they've already deployed them. Cardano's late to the party, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. We're seeing with Ethereum, being first has actually been quite a curse. It's been a blessing in, in the sense they have first mover advantage, but it's really been a curse in the sense that, you know, DeFi and Ethereum is absolutely unusable for anybody with a small amount of money. I think that's a fair statement to make. Um, even somebody... With a larger part of money, it's painful to use uh, is, the, is the right word. You know, I, I don't use Uniswap anymore. Um, the only thing I will use on Ethereum is the layer twos like Polygon uh, and so on and so forth. So this is really what I want to remind people of, what is around the corner um, and, and just how substantial this is. And we've shown you why this is substantial, what the effect 
of DeFi is on the network and and not just the network, but on, on the value proposition. What we see happen to a Z crypto um, when we see the underlying tokens getting eaten up by the DeFi ecosystem. In Ardana, for example, you lock up your ADA and you get to mint, you get to borrow DUSD against it, or not just your ADA, any of the underlying um any of the native tokens that they decide to list and you can borrow against it. So this locks things up. Same with Sunday Swap, for example. Um, you see if you want to add liquidity, essentially you will have to add a pair, an equal amount in terms of a monetary value of a pair, uh, and that gets locked into the protocol for people to trade between. So a lot of the overall supply, certainly when we've got 70, nearly 72% of ADA state um, is now going to get pushed into DeFi. And this takes a huge sell pressure away from exchanges, we're seeing sell pressure get exhausted here, guys. I mean, we really are. This has been a brutal three months. This is how I expected this three months to play out. Um, it's always been a possibility, but we've been exceptionally bullish on card. I know markets are markets at the end of the day, guys. They don't always go to plan. And when they don't, it's up to um, you guys, up to me to reassess the situation and, and, and see how we're going to move forward. And I've made it absolutely apparent that we are exceptionally bullish on Cardano. We think this technology is going to do a lot. We think the market cap is going to continue to grow and there's going to be real adoption coming from this token. So let's get back to what we were talking about. So if we look at something like AVAX, for example, you know, they've had a huge amount of dApps built on top of them. Um, Terra is the same. And of course, Solana's done very, very well with the backing of a lot of big VCs. And of course, they're very tied in with FTX. Um, and you can see, you know, you've got Serum here, which is their kind of version of a DEX. You've got Trader Joe. You've got a number of different, uh, you've got TerraSwap, Trader Joe for Avalanche, and you've got TerraSwap. So we're about to get that moment with Sunday Swap. And it's going to be very interesting to see what happens um, to the price when Sunday Swap is live. And I'm personally, one reason I'm accumulating ADA still is not just because I believe in ADA, I believe in the token, but it's to interact with DeFi. I've got Cardano set aside specifically for interaction with DeFi protocols. Some of those DeFi protocols you can actually interact with like Ardano whilst you keep your Cardano state. So you're getting kind of like a double yield from it, if you will. And this is ultimately what brings people, what has brought everybody to the crypto space to date, guys? Not everybody, don't get me wrong, they're a very small minority of people, but the majority of people in crypto, and there's nothing wrong with this, are here because they want to make money. And that's what's going to attract people largely to the Cardano um, ecosystem when we get these dApps deployed and when we get a bit of coverage on them. And I want to point out something with AVAX, Terra and Solana, which are our competitors. They have substantially smaller communities than we have we have one undeniable reason of why i'm so bullish on cardano is because of the community behind us they are the ones that are going to drive adoption they're the ones that are going to drive use case um sorry use and we see that with avalanche terra and solana we have a substantially bigger community behind us willing to try these apps out so they're going to get greater adoption this is all going to drive the underlying network we've seen huge growth on the network so far we've been second only to bitcoin in terms of transactions on chain um, in a 24-hour sort of period a number of times now so what do you think happens and this is when things like ethereum solana terra and avalanche already have smart contracts and already have a beautiful dap ecosystem we're about to get that i can't underestimate and underemphasize what's on the horizon guys it's going to be beautiful we're already in a lot of projects we're in things like parabus we're in things like um aada avax so on and so forth um adax sorry um and of course we're in aldana we're in loads of these projects because we think they're going to do very well and they're very small in terms of market cap and if they see any kind of a substantial growth that market cap is going to um, do very, very well and, and go up considerably with the token. So that's really all I have for you. It's a nice chilled out video on Sunday. I just thought we'd really establish and take this as a friendly reminder, guys, because when this happens, people are going to get caught short. People are going to be caught on the sidelines waiting to get in. Now, of course, what happens with Cardano's price has a lot of tetherage um, to the, the overall market as a whole. You know, we give daily market updates. We've not done one today because it's Sunday. We will be doing one tomorrow as usual. And where we not only look at the crypto space, but we look at markets as a whole. 
Um, and we are absolutely tethered to Bitcoin and global market conditions. Um, however, within that, providing the market, Bitcoin, for example, could just be going sideways. As long as it's not seeing any sort of a volatile move to the downside, we can grow within that space. You know, we've seen Cardano outperform pretty much everything since this bull run started. Certainly, we know if we look at year to date, it's not doing that well. Um, Polkadot is another one. You guys know that and this this is worth mentioning, as we've mentioned, AVAX, Terra, and Solana. You know, Polkadot, we've actually, all my Polkadot is locked into um, the parachains. They've all won. And we're about to see a similar thing take place with Polkadot. And it's going to be very interesting when these kind of OG smart contracts, um, maybe O little G, we'll call it Ethereum the OG smart contracts, because it was the first smart contract uh, blockchains. The OG smart contract blockchains actually turn on and start their ecosystem because it's Polkadot and Cardano that are actually behind. They've been here longer than the likes of Terra, Avalanche, and certainly Solana. Um, so extremely excited, guys. I think you guys should be too. We'll see how this affects the price. Get ready for what's coming. It's going to be an absolute tidal wave. When these protocols launch, we are, of course, going to be in there showing you how they work. This was just a friendly reminder, guys. You know, we know just how much money gets locked into DeFi. Of course, that is assuming that, if it, that Cardano gets used as much as Ethereum. There's no guarantee to that. Ethereum had a massive first mover advantage. You know, I, I was a big fan of Ethereum's DeFi when it first came out. Now I just refuse to use it because I don't like getting robbed. Um, although I will interact with some of the layer twos on things like Aave um etc so that's all i have for you guys i'm going to love and leave you on that note hopefully that's relit maybe a fire in your bellies got you a little bit excited about what the future looks like we're going to be covering it as it unfolds anyway remember we do have the all in crypto stake pool all in is the ticker and go over to my twitter the twitter handle is at real all in crypto and give me a follow there's also a link to our discord in the description thank you very much for watching ladies and gentlemen have a fantastic sunday evening